What up? Biggest takeaway? Uh, yeah, yeah. When I was uh, when I was getting there, I was a little I was a little nervous. Um, but then once you started talking ball, it was, you know, it was pretty easy. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't seem like you were convinced that Jordan Poyer was coming back. Yeah, I had no idea. I didn't. You know what? The way this business works, I was just assuming. I'm kind of the person that just like assume the worst, and if something better happens, it happens, and something great happens. So I'm I'm uh, extremely happy about that. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I just think that um, you know, I was kind of I wasn't being too pushy. Obviously, everybody wanted Poe back, but I wasn't being too pushy just because I understand the business side and him, his agent, negotiating all that stuff. So um, I was kind of sitting on the sideline, and then when I got the phone call saying he's like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it, and I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it, let's run it back. Uh, seventh year in the system together. That's tr that's crazy. I told you guys years back, you know, it felt like we were red shirt seniors together, but I don't know what a seven year, seven years together being in college is. I don't know. Like maybe COVID year. Yeah, I feel like they're all getting seven years now. So, <laughs> yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, Dham is a, a, a special person. Um, you know, I said this, like I said this a year ago, I said this months ago. He's a special person, fun to be around, uh, beautiful soul. Um, you know, he's a, he's a younger guy, younger than me, but you know, I look up to him, um, especially how he he uh, has you know bounced back and faced adversity throughout the last couple months. Um, so it's just special to have him in the building. Anytime I see him, um, you know, I'm excited just because of what what transpired, what went down a few months ago, and um, it was scary, and to see him well and and in the building, and you know, moving around a little bit, um, just gives you a little energy. How are you feeling? I feel great. I feel amazing. Um, I was in my backyard, getting tackled by my son, um, preparing for for a little season coming up. Uh, but I'm 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 truly truly excited. I've been working out for the longest time, so um, I'm I'm itching to to get back out there. No, it's just it, like I said. It's just truly remarkable to see, see you know what happened. You know the, all the uncertainty that that was that was out there. F you know days following the the incident, um, and I think everybody that was a part of it. <clears throat> I mean, obviously everybody in here was a part of it too. You know, just being a part of that game and, and all that. But um, being a player and, and and one of your brothers, one of your teammates going down like that, we all got some you know kind of little form of. Uh, uh, like trauma from it, just because it was it was so crazy. Um, never would have thought that in my NFL career, fo playing football my entire life, that something like that would happen. Um, so to see him, you know, bounce back from that, and just having conversations throughout throughout the last couple of months with him, and and seeing how positive he's being, and even to see him back here and working out, like that's it's, it's a miracle. During this time, he's been everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we made a joke yesterday about him meeting the president and, uh, you know, seeing if he could hook us up with a few things. But uh, we'll, we'll see if he has that connection. Uh, we'll see if he's going to use that connection. Uh, but no, nah, it's just been all, been all fun and games. You know, we, he's made his rounds. He's been all over the place and, and he deserves it um, from, like I said, from the adversity that he's he's uh, kind of come that he's, that he's faced and, and coming through that. Um, he definitely deserves all of it. Well, I think that uh, since we got together in 2017, um, you know, we have some ups and downs, but I think that we've always established a standard around here um, just for our, not, not only our defense, um, but I just think internally into our safety room, we've always kind of had that chip on our shoulder. Um, guys is trying to prove themselves. So, you know, we feel like, 
you know, it's on us to set the standard. Um, and, and throughout the years, we've, you know, continued to try to build off that. Um, last year just wasn't our standard. It didn't matter who was out there. We just felt like we didn't play well as a safety group. And so, um, you know, that's on us. Um, so we're, you know, bouncing back this year and, and uh, you know, obviously got to stay healthy and, and we added some depth. So that's, that's good to see. Um, I think I think every it's everybody's job to set the stone, set the tone. Um, you know, obviously the guys that have experience that have been in the league for a while um, understand the the magnitude of starting fast in the season um, and 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 getting guys healthy like Vaughn um, to to have him come out there and 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 help us along the way. That'd be awesome. Um, but I think it's everybody's job. You know, I think in the back end. Um, we've always been able to make plays, but also at the same time, we need those guys up front to, to be able to, you know, put some pressure on the quarterback and do all that type of stuff. So, um, yeah, we got some experienced guys in the back end, and you know, we're gonna willing, we're gonna go out there, and we're gonna try to fight, we're gonna try to take the ball away, do all that type of stuff. But it's gonna be a group effort for sure. Mike, I know it's early, but what have your, you know, first impressions been with Sean as taking over the defensive coordinator right now? Uh, I think it's cool. I think it's cool, and I, I, I feel like you know, throughout the whole. Um, time I've been here, it's kind of been a group effort. Um, you can tell, you know, the coaches, um, they all say the same language, whether if it was Sean, whether it was Frazier, whether the, uh, the position coaches, everyone's kind of had the same language, and that's trickled down to the players. So um, we all understand, you know, what we have to do and, and how we can get better. Um, and it doesn't matter really who's calling the plays and doing that type of stuff. We're going to go out there, we're going to, you know, play fast and try to be aggressive and, and take the ball away, put our offense in good field position. So, um, but I think it's not not going without saying just somebody like Frage not being in the building is is um, you know it's Frage was such a good person for us for a long time. He's just a guy, a former player, someone that's that's uh, that's been around the block, never too high, never too low. I've told you guys that before. So um, you know, I just like again, it's going to be a group effort between everybody to uh, to kind of bring that to to the defense. You know, I think that, that no, this time of year, you know, this guy's in and out of the building, so it's it is what it is. Have you talked to him? I've I've spoken to him a few times. Yeah. Now, Mike, you've been on this team longer than anyone. I mean, you're talking about from college to high school, even little league, you've been on this team seven years, right? Last year, you know, you had to basically coach the team. So, what did you learn? What did what did last year teach you that would help you in this year's approach? Oh, that's a that's a good question. Um. Well, I think that there's there's been a uh, a bunch of guys that have been here for you know five plus years. Um, I th I feel like for us to get over the hump, we have to play our best. We have to play our best ball. Um, me personally, what I learned last year, um, just being grateful for the opportunity of being in the, being in the league. Um, you know, I I don't think I was, and I think I've mentioned this to you guys before. I wasn't complacent or anything. I just felt like um, last year, kind of taking a step back and realizing how this how this league works and. Um, you know, life goes on. Whether if you're hurt or not, you know, the guys are going to continue to go out there and play, and they're going to plug in bodies to to try to go out there and win. So I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be back out here, and um, you know, just kids are getting older. So I, I want to see, I want them to see me, you know, play and remember. So um, this is a hell of an opportunity for me, for myself, and for my family. No, no, not at all. Uh, kind of doing the same things I've done in the past. Uh, getting back to it, working out hard. I got my routine that I kind of established uh, pretty much once I got to Buffalo. You know, out in San Diego, I got guys I work with. So sticking that routine and, and um, staying in shape, never getting out of shape. And it's kind of my mindset. I know, I know you love to travel. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think you've ever played international. Never. City your first year, right? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> But uh, I would much rather have a home game. But you know, it is what it is. I, I feel like you know, playing that game is something that you've seen throughout the years. Um, especially last year, there were some really good games last year that that uh, of teams participating. So I'm excited. I know my family and friends are already making uh, travel trips out of it. And somebody even asked me what I want to do after 
I think it's a bye week afterwards. If I want to go travel somewhere after, I'm like, you guys, I got a game to worry about. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a fun game to be, be a part of, sure. Josh is getting a little older. How old is Josh? 20, 26? Oh, my God. Um, and maybe changing the way he plays a little bit. Uh-huh. Do you think he can do that? Josh is a competitor. I'm going to say that. He's going to do whatever whatever it takes to, to help this team win. Um, but at the same time, I feel like as long as he's trusting his teammates and we're trusting him to be able to take care of himself, um, I think we'll all be we'll all be better off. I'll just, I'll just say that. On the H note, did you hear about Sean today when Jordan or as old as he is? <laughs> Sean said that. Uh, Sean came in the, you know what? I'm not even going. He came in the weight room earlier, and I was like, oh, you kind of look like a player, trying to you know boost his ego a little bit. He said, yeah, of course. Like I look just like you guys, and I'm like, yeah, all right. Bro. Uh, but <laughs> no, we're definitely not the same age. Uh, I did hear some about me, Poe and I are the top five oldest on the team, which is crazy to me. Um, came out yesterday, started working out, and I looked around. And I'm like, "Wow, this is what the old guy, this is what the old head said. What happened? It's it's really happening right in front of my eyes." But you know, they keep me young, and uh, that's why we run every day and run sprints and and conditioning stuff. I'm I'm trying to beat them every day because I got something to prove. Well, that's that's up to him and Josh. That's up to him and Josh. They got they got to duke it out here in a few weeks. Hopefully, get some nice weather. But uh, I hear tickets are sold out, which is going to be amazing. So everybody, come out to the to the softball game, and it's going to be a good time. Appreciate it.